Hello everyone, welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. A uh, couple, actually just over a week left before the Fluid Art Experience. Uh, if you want to sign up last minute, please go to fluidartexperience.com. I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour today and I'm really working on composition. So I wanted to show you how, you know, sometimes just blowing out a Dutch pour does not mean that the composition is going to be beautiful. So it's going to take some work. So I just laid down my base paint. I showed the recipe for all of my Dutch pour paints. Um, and I'm going to blow this out. I'm kind of doing like, I, I love these round canvases. I don't work on them enough, but I'm going to blow out like one side and then blow out the other side. Um, and then I'm just gonna work on it. So I'm gonna let you guys watch. Um, these TLP pigments, that ballet slipper, is really beautiful. It's one of my favorite colors that I've been using lately. And I just did a video on how to mix my, my, my pigments for a Dutch pour. Uh, for some reason, I've had issues with pigments and, uh, and making them like actually be able to be seen in my Dutch pours. And so I, um, I came up with a recipe on how to make paint and then make, then dilute it down, the pigments down from there. So that is what you're going to see in this one. And it actually kind of makes a really pretty, oh, like a, not purple, but there's, there's a really pretty color that when it combines with that Payne's gray, it's really beautiful. So I am going to let you watch this one today, guys. I really hope that you enjoy it. And I hope you learn something from how I just work the composition. When I first blow this out, it's pretty. And it would be fine if I just kept it this way. But I really love just working with, with my paintings. Um, I'm usually never satisfied which is blowing it out once and just letting it be so I really hope you guys like um, you know watching this you don't really need to you know hear me speak about what I'm doing to kind of get what I'm talking about that's my mom's hands my mom was there for this one um, she doesn't my dad paints and if you want to head over to his channel, DJ Fluid Arts, he's got some beautiful paintings. And I just saw his most recent painting is stunning, you guys. You have to see it when it comes out. Um, but it's really, really pretty. But yeah, my mom normally doesn't uh, check these out. But she was in my studio this day when I was doing this. So you'll see me kind of explaining things. You'll see hands waving and her hands waving in there. And, um, and basically it's, it's just working on the composition. Uh, I wasn't really a super fan of the white negative space in the middle. I felt it was unbalanced. And that's something you really need to look at when you're looking at composition. You could have a beautiful blowout but if the the there's no the balance isn't there, it's just it's not going to be a beautiful painting. So I really try to look at the balance. I try to look at the negative space. I try to look at you know cells. I really love how I blew that Amsterdam base paint uh, over top of my colors to start with because that on each side made these beautiful cells and it, it just was really pretty how it started. And so I will continue to work with this. I continue to, to just um, play with my paints and that's really good guys, do it. I mean, don't feel like, and I'm like, you see me putting my fingers in the paint, putting, if I, if I feel like, you know, it isn't, soft enough. I'll put the paper towel in the paint and kind of soften those edges. Yeah, do that, you guys. So 
I, again, I'm going to let you go watch the rest of this, but I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing, you know, and w where all these hands are coming from. And I really appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified each time I put out a new painting. Uh, if you are um, available and able to make it to the Fluid Art Experience, I will be teaching this technique at, um, in Dallas, July 21st through 23rd. Uh, and that's at www.fluidartexperience.com is where you get tickets. Um, and yeah, it, we're going to look at so many different things. We're going to look at composition. We're going to look at paint recipes. So I, I think that you're really going to learn a lot and you're going to enjoy the classes and it's going to be a fun, fun time for everybody. So, all right guys, I'm, I'm going to head out. I'm not going to, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm sure that you are sick of me saying that. Uh, I'm gonna let you watch and then I don't let you watch. Just watch. <laughs> but now I'm gonna put it to music and let you watch. Okay guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all. Yeah.